The Halo Setup Manager will allow you to make changes to your Halo body camera. Once you have it installed, you're going to double click on the icon on your desktop to open it. I'll go ahead and connect my Halo camera now to the dock. And when I do, it will prompt me for a password. The default password for the Halo cameras is six zeros. Click OK. And now the software will populate with all of the current settings on your Halo body camera. We'll start on the left here under device information. It displays the current firmware version. The device ID is unique to the body camera and cannot be changed. The badge ID can be customized and this will be stamped onto your videos and photos so you know who's using the camera. You can type in your name here or uh, numbers. And it has to be six characters, either digits or capital letters. Once you've selected your ID, you can hit apply to save that change. The device password, which the default was six zeros, can be changed to your own password. You'll just type it in here. It has to be six characters, digits or capital letters, and then you click update to change that password. The Wi-Fi password can also be changed. The camera does possess Wi-Fi capability and soon we will have a application for phones and tablets where you can review the evidence right off your camera. To update the password, it's the same way as the previous password. This one is eight characters total, digits or capital letters. So you'll type in that password here and click update to save. For the date and time, simply click sync and this will sync the camera's time to your computer time and date. Let's move over to the right for camera settings. The first one is the resolution. This is the video resolution or quality of the camera. Uh, default is 720, but you can bump that all the way up to 1296 for a higher resolution. For video length, this is how often your video files will be split into different segments. So if you record for one hour and you set this to 30 minutes, the video file that it creates will be split into two 30 minute segments. Auto IR, that's infrared. If you turn this on, your camera will automatically use the night vision feature. If you step into a dark room or you're recording at night, the infrared will automatically turn on. Speaker volume can be set between off, low, medium, and high. Record notification will tell the camera to vibrate every so often, which can be set between 10 seconds, 30, 60, and 90 seconds. The front button LED the light on the front can be toggled on and off. The photo size, currently set to the highest. This is the megapixel of the photos, the quality of the photos. The pre-record feature will tell the camera to pre-record for one minute. If you turn this on, as soon as you power on your camera, it will start pre-recording, remembering that minute, up to a minute in the past. The auto power off feature will tell the camera to power down automatically if you left it on in standby. You can change this between off one minute and up to 30 minutes. The motion detection feature will tell the camera to begin recording as soon as it detects movement if it's already powered on. For loop recording, if this feature is enabled, it means that when your camera becomes full, it will record over the oldest data on the camera. If you set this off and your camera becomes full, the camera will no longer record. Post record will tell the camera to record for an additional 30 seconds or one minute after you've pressed the stop button. So I have my camera on, I'm recording, I double tap that front record button to stop recording. It will then continue to record for either 30 seconds or a minute. For image quality, this is another setting for the quality of photos and videos relating to the compression rate. The record after startup feature will tell the camera, if enabled, to begin recording as soon as it powers on. If this feature is off, the camera will turn on and wait in standby, ready for you to hit record. The stealth mode feature will turn off all lights and sound and will only give you vibration notifications. You can also toggle this stealth mode on and off by holding down the function button on the camera for about one second. Any changes that you've made to the camera settings, make sure to hit apply setting to confirm all of those changes. If you wanted to revert back to the default settings, the factory settings of the camera, you can hit reset all and then OK. On the left here, we have training videos and troubleshooting guide, which will take you to our website to learn valuable information about your Halo body camera and descriptions of their features.
And lastly, the Connect to PC button will unlock your Halo body camera so that you can view the contents of it from your computer. So if you want to view or move those videos and photos over to your computer, you'll click this Connect to PC. It will say that it's successful. You'll click OK. And now you can navigate to it by going to your PC. And next to your hard drive, you'll find your Halo body camera here with the unique ID number. Double click on this, jump into the DCIM folder and then the 100 media folder. And here's where you'll find all of your videos and photos together. If you need to return to the software, you'll remove your Halo body camera from the dock, reopen the software and dock your camera again.